Hi, so to get the change from the negative reviews of everything, I decided I would talk about some books I'm really excited for because I just started um, The Haunting of Your Eyes by Shirley Jackson and it is so amazing, so wonderful. I'm really enjoying it, even though I'm only at page 24. But it was a book I've been wanting to read for so long. So I decided to talk about some other books I've been wanting to read all this time and just haven't gotten to. So uh, let's get into it. The first book I just received through the post and it's uh, Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. Uh, so this is basically about a woman who's prepare, preparing a party or something. But um, why, I'm, why I want to read it is because I'm just really excited to get into the stream of conscious style uh, Virginia Woolf writing. So I, just, I also really love this cover, even though I think it's a film cover. But I just, I don't know, I just really wanted this one. I just received it a week ago, I think. And I just really want to read it. And I haven't gotten to it because it was a week ago and I've been reading other things. But I will be reading this very soon, I think, because it's so cool. Next one is Vladimir Nabokov's Lolita. And it's a nice Everyman's edition. Everyman's library edition. It's one of the only hot covers I actually own. And it uh, has this really nice red red cover under the dust jacket. So I really I'm really enjoying the look of this. Um but basically this is about a pedophile who falls in love with a young girl. And of course that's not really something I would really very much want to read about. I mean if it if the book is good for the rest, I don't mind reading about that. But it's not something I would read for in itself, but I started this a couple of times and the writing style is just so gorgeous. The reason I put it down the first time, I think, was that at the time I was still reading a lot of things at the same time and only finished a few, and this one I put down because the story was really slowing down at some point, but I think I would enjoy it a lot more now. I got to page 100 or something at that point so that's quite far for me then but um yeah just really beautiful writing style but this is one i think i will really love because it's the writing style is just maybe the best i've ever seen I, i'm really wondering because um he's a russian author but he wrote this book in english and i'm after I finish this, if I like it, I think I'll read some other, some of his other works and compare whether his translated into English fiction, which he wrote in Russian, is written in a very different manner from this, because I often notice that uh, authors uh, with different language backgrounds have uh, really distinct writing styles, which I really enjoy. I mean, there was also Things Fall Apart from Chinua Achebe, and he was a Nigerian author. And it was written in a really, not only because of the la uh, loan words, but it was also just sentence structure and, uh, and such was really different. So I'm really curious whether, whether his writing style is very much influenced by Russian, but nevertheless, I'm really excited to read this. I might pick this up very soon because I'm just getting more and more excited about it. Next one is Jack Kerouac's The Subterraneans and Pick. It actually is similar to Lolita. I uh, picked this up when I was reading a lot of books at the same time and just put them down like non-stop. So I only read a few pages of this but I remember really liking the writing style and it was years ago so it's about time I finally picked this up and read it because I'm really excited to read On the uh, on the Road by Jack Kerouac and I haven't read it yet and I'm not allowed to buy it before I finish this because what if I really don't like it and I suddenly have another Jack Kerouac book. That's just not something I really like doing. So I first have to finish this one but I'm really looking forward to it. Then there's one which I haven't read because we're going to study it in school and that's Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and it's in this nice Oxford World Classics edition which you might find ugly but I really love them. So basically uh, this is the story of, um, well, the well-known story of Dr. Frankenstein who creates a monster out of body parts and this monster he then rejects so 
it feels very frustrated because it's rejected by society and by everyone. And I don't exactly know the story. And I'm really glad because then there's so much to still find out. Um, but it's just, I really love horror, especially classic horror. And it's, this is one I'm really excited for. But I haven't picked this up because I didn't want to read it too much in advance because my memory is just not that good. So, but we're going to discuss and be discussing this in a few weeks. So I might just start in a few days or something because I'm so excited. Then there's the bell job, a Sylvia Plath. So I've been wanting to read this for years and then I never bought it and I never owned it. And then I finally bought it. But I was, and that was, I think, in May when we were on holiday. So I bought this in Romania, which is really cool. But then um, I was still reading it by Stephen King. And it took me a long time. And afterwards, I had bought so many books in the meantime, just wanted to get to everything and this book just hasn't happened yet because I feel I should be a bit in the mood and I just wasn't really feeling the very depressing thing and I read, I mean, I still really want to read it, I'm really excited for it, but the summary and stuff reminds me a bit of Valley of the Dolls by Jacqueline Susan and I really did not like that book because it's about a girl who goes to New York and I know that that's just so broad and it's probably very different, but it's it, it's a bit putting me up, so I should just get over that. And it's also a bit uh, the writing style, because I read the first sentence. I mean, the second sentence is, I'm stupid about executions, and it sounds just so... It could either go really right or really wrong, <laughs> because it could either be like this very beautiful to-the-point writing style, or it could be just another YA-like book. So <laughs> I'm a bit afraid and that's a bit putting me off, but I think I will really enjoy this. I'm also, I mean, that's also the quote on the front, which is, I was supposed to be having the time of my life and they also... <laughs> I don't know whether I really enjoy that quote or find it really cliched. So, yeah, I'm just a bit tired between that, but I'm still, I, I still am really excited for this. I mean, can you tell? Like, honestly. Then this one. So, it was my birthday last week, and I'm still going to do a birthday book haul, I think, because I got money to buy books, and I haven't bought books yet because I want it to be perfect, you know? But, um, so I got one real-life book from my friends, and it was a book I'm really, I was really excited about, and I had not at all expected it. So it was so cool to get that, and it's Dublinus by James Joyce, and... <laughs> it's just it's short stories about um, just about uh, epiphany. I feel about that feeling of everything coming together. I feel, but uh, I was reading my literary uh, literary theory textbook, and they just every time they mentioned the dead, and I I wasn't even aware that that was one of the stories in this. But I just want really really like the idea of modernism, even though I haven't read a lot, and I'm just so excited about James Joyce. And I wanted actually to start with Ulysses, and I was planning on buying it for my birthday, but I'm really glad they saved me from that. I mean, the writing style, I, I just picked, uh, picked it up uh, when I just got it and read a few pages. And holy shit, this is everything I wanted from it. So, yeah. I can't really tell too much about it and I know I'm just saying like I'm so excited, I'm so excited and I know how annoying I am but it's just something I've been wanting to read for so long and the, the idea that I finally own it is so cool and that I can just read it. And then this last one which I uh, showed in my recent book haul and it's Daniel Keyes' Flowers for Algernon, and it's basically about a man with a very low IQ of 68. They are in some research facility experimenting on a mouse and trying to increase his IQ. And it works, so he offers himself as the first human test subject. And it works, so he gets gradually smarter, and then awful things happen, apparently. And I kind of have an idea what it is, but never mind. But I'm just... This I'm just solely excited about for the plot. I mean, how cool does that sound? It's also well, I'm saying I'm saying that, but actually also for the writing style because it gets it's written 
from progress reports written by him so it's he gradually gets smarter and you can read that and the spelling is better etc etc and it's so cool like so <laughs> this was just a really fast video but i'm I just got really excited. I started talking really fast. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, tell me what book you are really excited for. Because what's more fun than talking about books you're really excited about? Also, if you have any recommendations for books I should definitely buy, please, please tell me because I'm going to buy some books, maybe even today. For my birth uh, for my birthday money, and I have so many books I want to buy, but I'm also always open for suggestions. So okay, I should calm down and just sit down for a minute. So <laughs> bye.